Mm-mm. Girl, I'm taking that home, Jama. I ain't about to be doing this sh at nine o'clock. Come here at nine o'clock. It's bedtime. Hey, I'm LaRose of the Seattle Rose. I do hauls, I do vlogs, I do chit chats, and I do some other things here and there. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe so you can be one of my Rose Buzz because we all need buddies in our lives. Nail polish is coming off. I used to really like this look some years back. Some some lot of years back. I used to think it was so cute when you're um, when the nail polish started to kind of rub off. So cute. Like I like, I don't know. Anyway, that's not what I'm going for this time. I'm just being lazy. Um, yeah, sorry about yesterday. I'm sorry. That's that's all I had for you. I'm so sorry. I uh I didn't hold on. All right, I didn't um what do you call it? Charge? Yeah, I didn't charge my batteries. I just went right home and then started editing. Then while I was editing. My laptop died, or it was about to die, so I'm like, oh, let me just plug that. I left the freaking block at work plugged up. And then I've already tried before using other block pieces and it just doesn't work. So I wasn't even gonna bother myself with it and I did not bother myself with it at all. Um, I was just like, okay, whatever. Today, I'm gonna be doing a live. I'm gonna be, once I get my food, we're gonna do a live and that's that's that. That's how I'm gonna handle that. I really want some fried chicken. Well, what I'm doing right now is I gotta run to the bank. I gotta go run to the bank and grab some money. This is the bank that um, you know I don't have a card for. Oh, I was about to just run that stop sign. Um, and I'm trying to make a mad dash because I'm trying to go to the bank, go back to the office real quick, and then go get my chicken, then go back to the office real quick, and then do at least a 30 minute live, or a 25 to 30 minute live, probably 30 minutes, then do a 30 minute live. Eey, oh, that scared the shit out of me. So that's the plan. Yeah, and hopefully I get some footage for you today, but I don't have... I do need to go do some grocery. I do need to go do some grocery shopping. I really do. Do I have the time? I really don't. But we gotta. We gotta. Oh, I actually don't have to pick up the kids. So, but then I'm gonna have to go home and see them, and they're not gonna let me leave that house without them. So maybe I'll. And the boys. I left the babies at home, and only the boys are there. Phoenix isn't there. I mean, they're capable. And too tall is at work, but they're capable. But I, I didn't mean to leave that much responsibility for them. Um, the, uh, my grandson's there too, Elijah's there. So that's a lot, but I think, they're, I think they'll be good. They'll be fine. They'll call me if not. They're, they're, they're probably just having fun. And Legend's there, Legend's 13. Like, he can handle three toddlers. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. They stayed up so late last night and I, I did not feel like fighting them because I was tired myself. I was just like, you know what? I'm not taking them with me. Let them stay up as long as they want to stay up. I'm done. And then this morning, I was I was going to get them, but they were they were just dead to the world, and I knew they would be. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave them here. I thought Too Tall was gonna be home today, but he left too. So, all right, we're at the bank. How long did it take us to get to the bank? Three minutes. All right, I think we'll be back in time so that they can't tell me. It don't matter. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm gonna leave you running. Don't let nobody take my car. I need my phone. Where the hell is my phone? Oh, it's here. No, that wasn't my phone. Holy shit, and my ass is out.
All right, let's rush to the house. I mean to the house. Let's rush home. What the hell? Let's rush to back to work. Do a little bit of work real quick. And then we'll go out and get our chicken. I think I want churches. But it's it's risky. Churches that I have I had churches that was good one time. So it's risky, but I really want some chicken and I don't want Popeyes because I always get Popeyes, but I do really like Popeyes, but I really want some fried chicken. And I don't want my own fried chicken because I don't like my own fried chicken. Now, if somebody else fried my chicken for me, that'd be all good, but mm -mm, that ain't gonna happen. So, churches it is. Churches it is. Did you guys see that dude? Did you guys hear that conversation? Well, if you did, yeah. I My dress is not that short, so I'm pretty sure he didn't really see my ass. Let me call Too Tall and let him know what happened. Too Tall likes shit like that weird <laughs> I got another subscriber I got another subscriber I got another subscriber everything's all right and with another subscriber everything's all right yeah I've done that cheer for all of you have subscribed <laughs> but if you subscribe you can get a cheer too all right and we're out i'll be back all right we're back some time later what the fuck she didn't take me to hey siri directions to church's chicken directions to church's texas chicken to go live right now and get this live thing out of the way but then I can't talk to you no anymore I think maybe I will oh shit my car is smoking let's, let's do this alright let's see I don't know how this is going to work and I needed this for the GPS oh my gosh why am I going why why am I going live now and I need GPS? Why? Okay, let me think, let me think. Um, no, I think if I keep going straight down the street. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, I know where I'm at. But I'm behind some slow ass cars. I'm not gonna make it. What I'm trying to do is get to Church's Chicken, make an order. Hopefully there's no line. Hopefully I can just get up there and get my food. Because I gotta ask them for fresh cut. Because last time I had them, I didn't get, I didn't get what I wanted. Like I remember, I got what I wanted, but it was dry. Like the chicken was unedible. Because I, I am both. I'm a YouTube watcher. In fact, you know what? Most of my, the TV that I watch is YouTube. I think the shows. What shows do I watch? I'm a forever diehard for um, Real Housewives of Atlanta and Potomac. I used to watch Orange County when it first came out, like long time ago. When it first came out, yeah, I was into Orange County. In fact, I was into a whole lot of just white people shows, but now, now that I have so much access to black people, that's almost all I watch is black people. If it's if it's not black, I probably don't want to see it. What do I watch that's like mostly white? Let me think. Hmm. Oh, Handmaid's Tale. I watch a Handmaid's Tale. I'm, I'm very dedicated to Handmaid's Tale. So, so that's one like white show. Uh, that's it. Everything else is blackity black, black, black. And hardly that. Because I don't watch like it. Um, what is, I used to watch, what is that show? It's on MTV now. It used to be on VH1 with all of the rappers and stuff. Love and Hip Hop. I used to love Love and Hip Hop. I don't watch that anymore. It changed. I like the first, the first group of Love and Hip Hoppers. All right, we're here at churches. Let's hope I get some good chicken because I'm so sick of getting dry chicken. I got chicken. The first time I got chicken here, it was so delicious. Second time, it was dry. Damn it, I'm I gotta wait. Freak. Going to Mount Hood, where we had a cabin up there and it's it's snowy and whatever. And we're going down like this this heavy, this, this deep, steep ass hill. And on the side, there was like this being like this, it looked like a drive, like a, you would think it was a street or something to go somewhere, but it was just like a hill that that just had an incline and that, that was it. There was like an end to it, that was it. And um, my boyfriend was like, 
you do know what that is i was like what he was like that's uh he said that's that's so trucks that are going too fast can like i guess go on that to slow down or something i don't, I don't know i could be wrong but i know that scared the, the, the life out of me i was like oh no all that weight pushing you down the hill like that uh-uh i'm good stay safe out there 14 minutes oh my goodness by the time i get back my lunch break is gonna be over glad i didn't clock out <laughs> can i get some ketchup please yes ketchup you have a great day my you too Enjoy your meal. you too all right well thank you all right let's go back to the job today i was calling the job home over and over again like okay we're going back home like that is not my home and i do not want to claim it as one shoot that is not my home I'm... so the kids that i've raised up here they don't know what it's like to just be around uh, us you know like they're they've grown to school oh phoenix yeah they've gone to school with white folks they've gone to s and everything else um hardly any black people and I just feel like they're missing out. And so I want to give them that experience. I got to experience all of, almost all of freaking uh, the country. So I want them to, too, especially be around black people. Shoot. There's nothing like black people to make you feel beautiful out here. It's just we feel like we're like the, I don't know, leftovers. Like, I don't know. But that's a topic for another day. That's a, hey. And my best friend, she's from here. She's from Tacoma, Washington. And she's, I mean, she's been to Louisiana now. Now that she's been in her 30s, she's been to Louisiana. And so she got to get a taste of what it's like for, to, to be lusted over, to be wanted, to be sought after, and to be told how beautiful you are. And just to, to feel like a girl. Like, you don't, feel, we don't feel it out here as a black woman. We just don't. But the South, oh yes, my black men show out for us. And that's, and yeah. She doesn't know nothing about that. She was like, is this how it is? She went to Louisiana and she was like, is this what it's like? This is what, how you, that, that's why you always thought you were the shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> uh, but I'm a tall woman and it's just like not a world fit for a tall woman, especially a desk and I don't have a standing desk. To, desk. It's just one of those regular ass stationary desk. My car needs a tune up or something. Cause I just tr tried to pull out in front of this car before it came and it did not push. It hesitated. That could have, that could have caused some trouble. Oh, tall. Yeah. So I'm tall. And so my, nothing fits. Like when I pull my chair up for my legs, then I'm going to end up kind of hunching down to like write and type. <sighs> and so it's killing my back. It's coming up and then I'll lower my um chair so that I can actually like you know sit like like this and then my knees are like to my chest like <laughs> and it sucks. I need to be able to sit for 25% of my job, drive for 25% of my job, um, and then like be in people's spaces for 50% of my job. That's what I want, and that's what I'm looking for. Hi, are you available now? And you have this rapid rehousing, um, and they they know how great like Solid Grounds rapid rehousing, and they're like the first and all of that stuff. So, oh, and she's like, is, she's really really pretty. Always have like always done up, hair done all the yeah. time, makeup all. Like, yes, I know Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> she yes, has a big Tiffany. son, very very yes. big son. Yes, I know she's her. So oh yes, tell give her my love and let her know I miss yeah. her and her presence was like amazing and yeah, I would yeah, love to run into her again. You say right. things that you wouldn't normally say, and you're just like, "Why right. would I say that?" There was one interview. Let me real, real quick. I'm a talk. I, I talk a lot, also. Me but too. there's one. There was one interview I had, and it's the one going to um, uh, solid ground. So I, the mm -hmm. whole interview was going good, and then they come to a question, and it's, "How has racism affected you?" I'm a black girl. Yeah. Yeah. And so it, that should be an easy question like an easy like I should be able to answer that so easily But my brain had yeah. nothing. It was just done. Right. I, I was blank and I just was like, you know what? I think my my brain is done for today. I cannot I can't answer you. I don't I have nothing left hey. And so I was and they were like, do you want to continue? I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm allowed to continue. I think I think 
I think I'm done. For, and they hired me. <laughs> they got, yeah, I was going to say you ended up working there, but that was like being honest. To keep on trying. Yeah. Who wants to have a home, I want to help them get that home and just provide them with the tools and the resources they need um, to do that. And if I have to advocate for it, or teaching self-advocacy is one, and then providing that advocacy for them if they can't do that themselves. So that's what I'm here yeah. for. Look who's there waiting on me. He just walked over here. Then I'll be good. As another easy remote job? Yeah, I'll be good to go. Oh, that's. Excuse me, excuse me. The expenditure call. Ice cream sandwiches. Oh, so that's just the that's suggested price? The safe way. Oh, I see. How much are those? Damn. So there's another example here. Uh, her name is Annette. You can come without me. So we get sugar. It's such a nice night. Do you guys see it? And it feels good out here. Oh my god. I just want to take it in. Who is this? This is Washington? Like what kind of weather is this Washington? To my man. Thank you to my man. All right. I filled up my house with. There's a whole bunch of air fresheners that are supposed to go in the house. Yeah. Um. I think there's maggots in my car because. No. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So, all of a sudden, there's a whole bunch of flies in my car, and I felt like they were attacking me. A whole, whole bunch of them. And then I was like, wait, all these flies look just the same. They're motherfucking brothers and sisters. Okay. They're, <laughs> I think there's maggots in my car. Like maybe under the carpet or something. I don't know. Does that look smoky to you? It's like a fucking movie. I see the smoke right here. But when I turn around, I don't see nothing. Anyway. Anyway. That's really weird. Anyway, so I was like, yeah, like we do a live, talk about it, let people who are watching chime in, give us our give us their opinion. Maybe people can help me see you know just the, the advice and the opinions of other people because other people can see me for who i really am instead of no no no. i'll say other people can see me for what i project and what i um, and uh and how i impact like how, how my words are in, impact people i guess right or him because we're talking about him so other people will be able to see how my words and my actions and things like that impact him. Because, because you know, you're on the outside looking in, right? And I just felt like that would help me to, I don't know, just, I just need some kind of healing. I need some kind of something. I was just reaching. But now, and, and he was like, yeah, that sounds cool. But now he's just like, I don't want my world. I don't want my life in, on, on, as a spectacle, basically. He didn't say those words, but, you know, whatever. But he's now saying no and that's fine like if you don't want to do it I don't want to do it with you <sighs> I guess me and Leticia are supposed to gonna have to go ahead and do that podcast like we were going to or oh, shit I don't need nobody I'll just talk about it on my own talk about my issues I don't know no I think I called Leticia so I didn't even talk to you all right so girl look it's remote It's remote. It's remote. 
and it's four days a week so it's monday through friday i mean monday through thursday but it's only 36 weeks and it it only pays i don't even want to tell you guys i'm not gonna tell you i'm embarrassed i'm embarrassed but i'd be making um i'd be making basically the same amount that i make now but i'll be at home I feel like I got it. I think I got that one. But then the difficult thing is gonna be deciding on whether to keep the stay at home job or take the job, the high paying job, where I gotta be there. Be with the money or be with the kids. I gotta, I'm gonna sleep on it. I don't know. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna figure it out. In fact, I don't even got nothing to worry about. I don't gotta even think about it until I get some offers and I don't got no offers. So let's not even talk about that. That's nothing that I gotta put my, I don't have to worry my pretty little mind on it. You feel me? I haven't seen my kids all day. I haven't seen the babies literally all day. It's about to be nine o'clock. Damn, how long did it take me to go grocery shopping? You see? Mm-mm. Girl, I'm taking that home, Jama. I ain't about to beat doing this shit no more. Got me motherfucking coming home at nine o'clock at goddamn night. I ain't seen my motherfucking kids all goddamn day. Why is this out my fucking bag? Motherfuckers got me away from my motherfucking children for nothing. Pay me motherfucking pennies and shit. Can't even go buy shit. Can't buy shit because I'm getting paid pennies to go be away from my fucking family. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, I'd rather be paid pennies to stay with my motherfucking family. That's exactly what the fuck I'm about to do. I ain't working hard as a motherfucker to not be around my family to come here at nine o'clock. It's bedtime. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I gotta turn my car around. I gotta back in. All right, now where was I? Get in this motherfucker. Nine o'clock. Hi, baby. Hi, how are you? I haven't seen you all day long. No, no. Yeah, she need to wish and take it, take it, something else. I did it. Okay, ready? Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah, they saw you blow it. Mom, she was here then. 